Okay guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that cable E B passes over the small ideal pulley C without a change in its tension. What length of cable C D is required for static equilibrium in the position shown? What is the tension in this cable C D? So now if we draw the free body diagram, so we will have the tension in this CD and we will have the tension in this AB and the tension in AB will be equal to the tension in this in this cable and the tension in this cable is equal to the weight of uh, this block. So let's say if I represent all those forces, so this will be the, the tension in CD. Similarly, we will have the tension in this AC, this is AC, let's see, this is, let's say this tension in AC is represented by this T and similarly we will have that same tension T here and this tension T, this will be equal to this 50 pounds. Now let's say that this CD cable is making some angle theta here, so if it is making some angle theta here and if I draw a horizontal line here. So we will have that same angle theta here and similarly if I draw a horizontal line here so we will have that same 45 degree angle here since both of these angles are alternate angles. Now since the system is in equilibrium and here at this particular point we have these three forces so if the system is in equilibrium these three forces must be concurrent forces they must, the line of action of these three forces must pass through one common point and yes, they are passing through this common point. So, if we aid these three forces by head to tail rule, so if the system is in equilibrium, then the resultant of these three forces must be equal to zero and if the resultant is equal to zero, these three forces must make a closed triangle. So, they are making a closed triangle. So, now if I put this CD here, this is that tension in CD. So let me write that this is, this vector represent the tension in CD. Then we will have that tension T which is equal to the weight of the block. So this is T equals to 50 pounds and then we will have this same tension T uh, which is going, let me extend this right, these vectors are not up to scale so we have to make a closed triangle from these three forces right so this is this one is that same tension t in this cable right so this is that t which is equal to the weight of the block and this tension is equal to 50 pounds as well and as we can see that this this is that tension t in this ac cable so this ac cable is making 45 degrees with the horizontal so now if I draw a line here, let's see. So this tension is making 45 degree angle here and this uh, CD cable is making angle theta with the horizontal. So this TCD will make that same angle theta here as well. So now we know this, we know this, the tension in this and the tension in this. So we need to find this TCD. And now again if we uh, look into this, if, if this angle is 45 degree and if I draw a horizontal line here, if this is 45 then this angle is also 45, here we have that same angle 45 and if, if this is vertical since this, this represent that uh, vertical tension, so this means that this angle is 90 degree. So if this angle is 90 degree then this angle is also 45 degrees. So now from this we can say that the angle between uh, this T and this T, this is 45 degrees. So now we know this T, we know this T and we know the angle between these two. So we can apply the law of cosines to find this TCD. So if we apply the law of cosines, we can write that TCD square. This will be equal to this T square plus this T square minus 2 into this t multiplied by this t 
and cos of the included angle. So, from this we can write that this will be 2 t square minus is 2 t square cos of 45 and this will be the tension in that C D cable and if you want to find the tension this C D cable this is T C D square. So, we have to take the square root and if we simplify this we can write that if I take 2 t square comma. So, this will be 1 minus cos of 45 like this. So, now we know t this is 2 into 50 square 1 minus cos of 45 under the square root. So, the tension in C D cable is square root 2 2 into 50 square multiply by 1 minus cos of 45. So, this gives us 38.268 uh, we can say that this is approximately 38.3 pounds. So, the tension in C D cable is 38.3 pounds. Now, we were asked to find the length of this C D cable. It is said that what length of cable C D is required. So, now we know this T C D this is equal to 38.3. So, now we need to find this angle theta. So, now if we, if I apply the sine's law if I apply the sine's law. So, this angle is this whole angle is theta plus 45. So, we can write that sine of theta plus 45 degrees divided by the the magnitude of the opposite side which is 50. This will be equal to the sine of this 45 divided by the magnitude of the opposite uh, side right which is 38.3 it is 38.3. So, now from this we can write that sine of theta plus 45 if you multiply both side by 50. So, we will have 50 sine of 45 divided by 38.3. So, 50 sine of 45 divided by 38.3 this gives us 0 0.923 0 0.923 sine of And now, if I take sine inverse, so we will have theta plus 45 degree equal to sine inverse 0 0.923. Sine inverse 0 0.923, this gives us 67.37. So, theta plus 45 degree equals to 67.37 degrees. And we want to find this theta. So, theta is equal to 67.37 minus 45 degrees. So, 67.37 minus 45. This gives us 22.37 degrees. Now, we know this angle theta. This is 22.37. 37 degrees. And now, if I draw a vertical line here, so this is given, this is 2 feet. So, this means that this is 2 feet and let us say that this point is let us say point E. So, from here to here this length is 2 feet and we have this, let us say that this point is C. So, we have this C D E triangle. So, from C D E triangle uh, we can say that uh, this C D sine of C D sine of the theta which is 22.37 this is equal to 2 feet. Uh, if we apply sine of theta to this triangle so that is let me write that sine of theta is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse which is the length of C D cable. So, from this we can write that C D sine of theta is 2 feet right. So, C D length is 2 feet divided by sine of 
थ्री सेवन सो टू डिवाइड बाय साइन ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट थ्री सेवन दिस गिव्स अस सी डी इक्वल्स टू फाइव पॉइंट टू सिक्स फाइव पॉइंट टू सिक्स फीट सो फॉर स्टेटिक इक्विलिब्रियम द लेंथ ऑफ दैट सी डी uh cable need to be equal to 5.26 feet approximately and the tension in that cd cable will be 38.3 pounds so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from engineering statics